Inside the Unidos and El Arte exhibition at Creative Alliance, you'll find lots of bright, colorful pieces hanging on the walls, all part of one exhibit, but with so many deeply personal stories. Uh, this is my grandpa's passport photo, so when he came from Cuba, this is sort of like a portrait commemorating him. Natalia Celine Arias is originally from Miami, but her parents are from Belize and Cuba. Uh, my mom grew up dancing in Carnival in Miami and Belize and so on. Um, so she was always decorating costumes, you know, the large outfits, vibrant colors. And my dad, coming from Cuba at a young age, growing up in Miami, always had a sort of passion for art. And that same passion for art fuels Natalia's art as she brings her family photos and her family history to life. And this picture represents my mom, me, uh, other relatives, god sisters, etc. Um, so essentially like uh, almost like a time capsule. Natalia is one of seven artists featured in the Unidos and El Arte exhibition for Hispanic Heritage Month, a celebration of Latinx and Caribbean art and artists here in Baltimore who represent so many diverse cultures. Oh, my mom is West Indian from Guyana and um, my dad is Cuban of Mexican and of Mexican descent. Catherine Mapp used her dad's Mexican heritage as inspiration for this piece that features the letters in his Mexican home state, Jalisco, inverted and rearranged. It's really about creating my own language. Um, it's, cr it's like a creative revision. It's trying to find where I fit into the timeline of ancestors. And as artists tell different stories about their ancestry through art, they hope you'll embrace the diversity of Hispanic heritage. So many blends of culture and uh, this exhibition, I would say, represents like all of us coming together. The exhibition is free and open to the public through October 12th. And on Thursday, there's actually an artist talk where you can hear from some of the artists behind these pieces. For more information, you can visit our website. In Highland Town, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.